Arrays in GameMaker just got much better. There were already many functions to use with arrays, and now there are many more. And many of these new functions use callback methods, which can be a bit hard to understand. So let's see how they work. Let's take array for each. This function takes an array and a callback method, and then for each element in the array, it runs your callback method. So the callback method here is simply a method or a function that you made, and that function runs for every element in the array. When your callback function runs, it gets two arguments. So that's the value of the element and its index. So in this example here, I'm just printing both of them to the output log. Meaning if I have an array like this, I'm going to see this in the output log with the values of the array and their indices. Then there's array map, which is kind of the same. It also takes an array and a callback method. And it runs that callback method for every element in the array. But this time your callback method can actually return a value and whatever it returns is applied back to the array at that same index. This means that this function actually allows you to change the array instead of just reading it. One thing to keep in mind is that it doesn't actually change the array that you pass in, it creates a copy of it, modifies that, and at the end it returns that modified array. Like in this example, I'm running array map with a callback function that just returns the value from the element but multiplied by 2. So in the end, the modified array that you get is the one with the same values but they are doubled. Now just like the functions we looked at, there's a separate set of functions that also use callbacks. But for them, the callbacks are specifically called predicates. And it's quite simple. If a callback can only return true or false, then it's a predicate. This kind of a method can be used to find a value in an array or tell the array which values you want to keep and which ones you want to skip. For example, array find index takes a predicate method and when your predicate returns true on an element, it gives you the index of that element. So it basically helps you find an index in the array. There's also array filter which also takes a predicate. When your predicate method returns true on an element, it takes that element and puts it into a separate array. And by the end, you have a new array with only those elements that you wanted. And that selection was based on your predicate method. So for example, I have this array and I'll run array filter on it with this predicate method. This predicate basically returns true if the value is greater than 10. And so by the end, I have this new array with only those values that are greater than 10. There are many more array functions you can read about in this blog I wrote, and you can find all the details about all the array functions in the GameMaker manual, so check that out. We've also got some other videos for you, so check them out, and I'll see you there.